Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to be taking a look at how to create a button effect in Photoshop. Uh, this effect should be uh, useful for any shape you're using, if you're using a rectangle, uh, a circle as I've used here. Uh, should be great. Any size, it should work perfectly. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. As you can see, I've just created a little uh, example here. Uh, I will be leaving a uh, download link to a template in the description below if you guys want to uh, check that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open a new document, first of all. For this demonstration, I'm just going to make the height and width 500 pixels, resolution 72. That should be good. Okay. And we're just going to start out by creating our shape. I'm just going to set the color to blue, first of all. We're going to select the, select the ellipse tool. We're going to hold shift so it creates a perfect circle, and we're just going to drag. And there we go. Okay. Now we're going to right click on our layer here and we're just going to select blending options. I'm then going to select granite overlay. I'm going to double click on click edit granite overlay and I'm going to select this preset right here. I'm going to edit the white color to a dark blue. Okay and okay and I'm going to set the style to radial just like I'm then going to play with the scale till it's at about 60 or so. Perfect. Okay, then I'm going to select bevel and emboss. I'm going to soften to the maximum. And then I'm going to edit the size till it's about 155 pixels. I'm then going to edit the depth to about 52. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to add text. I'm going to. I'm using old Sans Black. I'll leave a uh, download a download link in the description below. I'm just going to right click, and I'm just going to put it in the center of our shape here. Okay. I'm going to right click on the click layer. I'm going to select blending options, and I'm going to select bevel and emboss again. I'm going to soften to the maximum and edit the size till it's at about 76. Now what this does is it just gives a more reflective kind of look to the uh, text. Okay, perfect. Actually, I'm going to go back into blending options and I'm going to add a drop shadow to our text here. I'm going to set the angle to 90. I'm going to set the distance to about 3 and I'm going to set the size to about 3 also. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to add the outer band or ring around our button. We do this by going back to the ellipse tool. We're going to change our color to gray. And I'm going to hold shift again so it creates a perfect circle and just drag. That should be perfect. We're going to put it right in the middle in the center here. Perfect. Okay, we're going to right click on our new layer and go into blending options. We're going to select bevel and emboss again. Soften to the maximum once again. And that should be, whoops, what is this? Sorry about that. Okay, so that should be perfect. We're just going to select OK. And for a final effect, we're going to go back into our blue object here. We're going to select blending options again. And we're going to select inner shadow. And we're going to make the distance about 8, the size about 13, and the angle again at 90. And that is how you create a simple button effect. Uh, like I said, this should be pretty much universal, so whatever shape or size you're going to be creating your button in, uh, you should be able to uh, replicate this effect with whatever you're doing. So, uh, like I said, I'm leaving a uh, template download link in the des description, so check that out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, comment, rate, subscribe.